I want to change a little bit now to talk about something you'd alluded to when, when I asked you about um, the evolution of open source, right? Um, you kind of alluded to the notion of moving from more of an ideological to kind of now to, to, to the Linux and operating system and then, you know, MySQL and, 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 and a bunch of things in the lower levels of the stack. And then now it's becoming a default way and we're looking at the, the map if you were to look at the, ven the, the vendor map of the members of the Cloud Native Compute Foundation, which, which falls under the, the Linux Foundation, it gives me a headache. There's so many uh, vendors, um, you know, a lot of them are the big guys, but there's a lot of startups that are just emerging. And, and, and you know, Kubernetes is, is probably one of the backbones of that whole map. Um, you, you've seen so many different evolutions and hypes and, and troughs. Um, is there something different about Kubernetes? I think it's 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 not an argument anymore. But but what's your take on Kubernetes now being the winner uh, of of infrastructure? I guess and and uh, do you agree or or do you see a potential disappointment or 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 is this a, a ship that sailed and going super fast? I think Kubernetes is is a force forever, right? Um, it's it's a little bit like the Linux kernel, right? You know it. it um, it will be pervasive. Uh, it will um, it it'll be in every institution. It'll be um, something that you know no one will blink if you say you're going to you need one of those to deploy one of these. Um, that said, um, I never thought that there could be a winner of Kubernetes uh, in the sense that um, Kubernetes is very squarely an integration point between the infrastructure and the application. And so it doesn't really make sense to me that people are going to fundamentally choose a different Kubernetes than their infrastructure. If you're on Amazon, use Amazon's Kubernetes. If you're on Azure, use Azure Kubernetes, right? Um, all of those Kubernetes vendors are very good uh, and they're all focused on giving you the combination of a first-class Kubernetes uh, that expresses the infrastructure that they provide. And since you've chosen that infrastructure, that's exactly what you want, right? You, 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 you don't want something that's somehow abstracting away uh, your, your choice of infrastructure. You want something that's expressing your choice of infrastructure. Um, and so, you know, we chose to be useful to those, um, those vendors. So, you know, we work as closely as possible with Microsoft on AKS, which runs on Ubuntu, and the same with Amazon on EKS flavors on Ubuntu, and the same with Google on GKE on Ubuntu, and the same with VMware uh, on, on their Kubernetes on Ubuntu. So um, what I thought would be important there would be to enable those infrastructure winners um, to offer Kubernetes with both a clearly articulated expression of their value prop and something common that allows people to believe that they have portability to the extent that they care about portability. And that's us, right? So you, 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 you have the best possible chance of moving a container between your clouds if you're, if you're essentially building on Ubuntu because you can find Ubuntu in Kubernetes from all of those infrastructure providers. And that I think is a is a is a sort of service role rather than an ego role. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we've got to do exactly what Microsoft wants on Microsoft and exactly what Amazon wants on Amazon. And the only constraint on that is that we've got to keep it Ubuntu throughout. You know, uh, but that's worked. Um, so I think Kubernetes is important. Everybody should feel comfortable with it. There's nothing wrong with sort of building it into your plans. That's not the same as saying as it's the last word. You know, any more than um, uh, um, any sort of infrastructure generation is the last word. Uh, I think it's really interesting that Amazon's ECS continues to grow. It presents a simpler but not simplistic view of containerized operations. Um, and I think that is a signal that, in fact, it's Docker that won, the Docker format, format the zip file of containering that won, right? And so people will find appropriate ways to use Docker images, Kubernetes is a very obvious one. Um, there may well be situations where people want to use a simpler orchestration framework. Um, that doesn't mean that Kubernetes has shortcomings. It just means that it's very unlikely one thing takes everything because people do have a, a, you know, a range of needs. Um, uh, and
And of course, mm -hmm. containers aren't the last word. Serverless is coming, right? The, the, the idea that you don't even worry about, you know, the, the, the scaffolding of the application, you just worry about the application is really attractive in the same way that containers are attractive in the same way that VMs are attractive, you know, less and lighter. But um, it hasn't yet broken out of the sort of cloud enclaves where it's strong at the, you know, at the moment. So Kubernetes is super important. Um, uh, in addition to those partnerships where we enable essentially everybody except Red Hat OpenShift, right? Pretty much everybody else is on Ubuntu. Um, 